What's up everybody, welcome back to my laboratory where safety is number one priority and today we're going to put to the test a bunch of sandwich holders. Let's see what I got this time. Got a bunch of Vava sandwiches, they're really really thick, wow this is a triple stack. So a regular sandwich probably a bit smaller. So let's take this in half, maybe like that. Take one of the birds away, that's a bit more like a normal sandwich now. We'll have to at some point pack lunch and how do you bring sandwich with you? Guess what, this one is pretty unique, silicone material over here. Will it fit a bigger sandwich? Yeah, even bigger one if we wanted to. And then this pretty much covers over it. Very nice and tight. Because I don't want to worry about my sandwich getting destroyed. I feel like I could even fit a burger in here. Very nice, not super tight over here. Okay, couple of our flips. As you can see, it's not going to go anywhere. Uh, let's take it out. Beautiful, and now you have a little plate to eat your sandwich on. I like that one a lot. Obviously, just stick it in dishwasher. Sure, it's a dishwasher safe. It didn't come in a box, just in a plastic bag. So no instructions, but self-explanatory. Pretty awesome. Next one, I got snap plug, leak proof. So that one is a little bit better. So we'll put water inside of it because it says leak proof. We'll see about that. But first of all, let's pack our lunch or sandwich and let's see how well it's going to lock it. You see, that's why I got rid of some of that uh, bread, but some of the people like squished sandwich anyway, so I squished it a little bit, but it fits a really, really thick sandwich. Make sure it's locked all the way, and look. It's not gonna go anywhere, you have three latchets. And boom, again, you have a little uh, plate whenever you're ready to eat your lunch. Okay, just a little bit of liquid. Pretty sure this rubber ring, that's what's going to keep all the liquid inside very tight. Wow, that is amazing. So in case you put too much mayonnaise or they put too much mayonnaise for you, you don't have to worry about it smothering everywhere. Like first one, there's a little bit of space where it could come out. But yeah, very nice. Look at that. Lick proof. Actually, I see a couple of licks finally. Oh well. Next I got it here, reusable sandwich bag with a lock over here. Check this out. Wow, beautiful. Locks it really good and then just, whoa, that's tight, pull it up. I think we'll have to put in a smaller sandwich. Let's see how it does. Would be a lot easier to put non-cut sandwich, but what if you want your sandwich to be cut? And the problem with that sandwich bag you have to put in much, much skinnier sandwich in here. But nevertheless, let's try it out. Maybe I should have put one half in and then slide in another half. Uh, that's cool, I really love the locket over here. That's beautiful, holds it pretty tight together, but again, maybe don't cut it, because it'll be kind of hard to put it in and out. Yeah, that's a beautiful, uh, like a sandwich bag over here. Again, one at a time, maybe a better idea. Or don't cut it. This one is actually sandwich box and also a freezing cooler in there, so that way your sandwich doesn't go bad. So this is almost like a lunch box. So open that. You got it here, two containers to put whatever you want. Maybe even some kind of fruits and vegetables, whatever. And you gotta hear a little ice pack that's going to slide out. There you go. So you freeze that and then you put it in here. Then you put your beautiful sandwich in there, a bigger one if you wish to. And then you freeze that and put that over it and lock that. And you got right here a sandwich that's going to stay cool. So take out your whatever you have in here and you got right here a sandwich beautiful let's see what this one sandwich holder is about this one is pretty awesome i think it's from japan so you open it up probably gonna put the smaller sandwich in here because 
this seems to be going to be tight. So and then you lock it in on each side. And as you can see, this will stretch out and that way it will keep your sandwich really nice and tight in here. And it feels like silicone material, really nice and doable. I have something similar to that for the bigger sandwiches, but unfortunately, looks like it has a little hole already. So disappointing. But this material feels like, yeah, also, actually there is a material feel to it, which is a hole over here, not hole here, because there is a plastic in here. If you want to burn with your bigger sandwich, looks like only half can fit from Wawa sandwiches. Oh, don't squish it though. You can lock them from each side. Make sure the latch is open. Boom. And it will keep your sandwich really tight. I like kind of this one a little bit better than this one. But very different. Let me know in the comments below. What do you think? Boom, you got yourself a sandwich. And one more sandwich holder over here. This one for those uh, like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. I might have to make that one. So I think there's two of them in here or just one, never mind. You just open it like that and unfold it. So you'd have to cut your sandwich like that and whenever you fold it, it gets really thick. Check this out. So it fills it up pretty easily. And just close it. And your sandwich is going to stay nice and fresh with peanut butter and jelly in case you want to burn it with you. You see? It's kind of cool. In case you don't want to squish your sandwich, there you go. That's a good idea. Boom, you have a nice non-squish sandwich. I like that one a lot. I kind of like them all. They're all kind of different. Depends what your preference. But yeah, let me know in comments below what do you think. Don't forget to thumbs up. And I'll see you next time.